Maybe you just feel awkward. Did the camera pointed at you? Yep. I can't talk. I have words that I can't find. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Rachel. I can't do it. <laughs> Official photographer. Hello, I'm Rachel, and I am Bertrix's photographer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. I can't do it. Hi, I'm Rachel. I am Bertrick's official photographer. Did that work? <laughs> yeah. Um, the first time I started shooting for bird tricks, um, me and Jamie had a mutual friend in town, and she just had approached me and been like, hey, you want to photograph this really pretty girl with really pretty birds? <laughs> it's like, mm, that sounds fun. So I just went over there, and we did kind of like a little styled photo shoot. And then I don't really know how it happened from there. They just invited me down to Craters of the Moon, and that was the first trip I went on with them, and it was a crazy small town. And I guess the rest was history. They just started inviting me on a bunch of trips, and now here I am, doing all the trips. <laughs> My favorite things about flight trips are one, I get to travel to really cool spots. Even though some of them are pretty technical to get to sometimes, uh, it's really, really fun to see the world in a different way. Another thing I really like is the people. <laughs> There's just a really cool sense of community with the bird people. I don't really know how to say that. And I just get to meet a bunch of people from like all different walks of life, different ages, age groups. And along with them comes their birds, which is something that, I mean, I've always wanted to be a bird nerd, <laughs> just didn't know how. Um, and somehow I landed here. So I just like to see also like the different types of people, how they interact with their birds and how they're kind of similar. I just like exploring and they bring out like the best, best sense of exploration in me. Um, my favorite place that we've been to is pretty much every location because they're all somewhere I've never been before and they're all completely different landscapes as well and they're just they're all stunning like no matter where you go you kind of find a spot that you enjoy. Some of my favorite locations uh, with bird tricks has been well Mineral Bottom is probably my favorite photography wise because it just gives you this big wide open spot and you get to see the birds like really swoop and play down in the canyon one of my favorite ones is in Moab and it's called The Hike because um, you get to hike obviously and I really like that. Um, but same scenario, big wide open space, the birds are just like playful and fun, the light is beautiful, um, that just the whole landscape changes there completely. One of my favorite spots is actually where we are now, it's called White Pocket. Never been here, came up here as a complete surprise not knowing what it looked like, um, but it is so cool. There's so many little cute pockets of light everywhere. There's like a lot of pattern and flow to it and it's just big giant and it looks like dinosaurs everywhere. It's kind of cool. I think my favorite bird to shoot is actually probably the sun conures or any tiny little bird because it is 
for one, very challenging to me, technically, because they're quick and they're zippy. But I like them because they have a lot of personality. Um, even when they're flying, you can see like each different personality within the bird. Um, they're just fun. They make you feel happy. So when you look at them, you're just like, oh, look at that little thing flying through the air. It's so cute. It's like a little tiny colorful rainbow rocket. They're hard to capture and I like a challenge. That's for sure. <laughs> I would say that actually the African grays are very, very hard to capture. The coloring kind of blends in with like most of the scenery most of the time. And they also are like, for some reason, really fast to me. And I can only catch Cressy's little orange part of her tail. Um, so yeah, African greys are definitely the most hard for me to capture. Some things that I've learned that will make this job a little bit easier if you're looking into doing some photography for any bird related stuff. Use a fast shutter speed. <laughs> Always pay attention to like what's going on around you because it's not just like actually about the bird flying. There's a lot of really cool moments that happen between like bird and their person, like just little head scratches or like little cuddles. I think those are almost more impo important moments to capture because it kind of really shows the relationship between two things that I guess wouldn't normally have a relationship if they were out in the wild. Use a continuous focus because they also move very fast so that goes hand in hand with shutter speed. Find the right light, which is always tough to do too. Um, it kind of goes hand in hand with looking around you. Um, how often do birds land on me? I would say at least probably five to ten times per day. I actually have an entire album saved in a folder that's called Birds Flying and Hitting Me in the Face. And it's basically like this really cool, like, oh, you see the bird coming, it's coming. And then all of a sudden you just have like this, in, like the whole birds in your viewfinder. And I can't count the number of times where I've like just bap and like kind of hit by a bird. Um, they like to land on my head a lot. I don't know if it's like the camera holding it. I think I'm like some sort of landing spot. I don't know. It's really cool though. That's gotta be one of my favorite parts about the job is just like how many situations I've been in where there's either a bird on my head. On my camera is a really good one too because they just like to land right on the lens and just sit there. Another aspect to this job is getting to work closely with Dave, Jamie, and Capri doing their social media stuff. So essentially going to these really cool places outside of flying and getting to capture their family dynamic because um, it's really spectacular and really beautiful. <laughs> um, so lots of, you know, like family portraits or even it gets to bring out like a huge creative side of me when me and Jamie just get the opportunity to like go out and, you know, put on a pretty dress and basically laugh at each other the entire time really complicated poses I try to put her in. Um, <laughs> but I really enjoy what this job does for me creatively in a social media aspect, because then I get to play on a level of what I need for my own social media, but I also get to give them what they need to change up their feet a little bit, you know, or sell some backpacks. <laughs> um, but I think outside of the social media realm, I very much like spending time with the family as a whole because I kind of feel like I'm a part of their family now. Um, but it's been really special to like watch them grow and expand on bird tricks because it's come a long way in like the four years that I've gotten to know them. Also Capri's growing up way too fast and it like really bugs me and sometimes it makes me want to cry. Um, Jamie thinks I'm 34 so that's cool. Um, <laughs> so she's also got to watch me age even though that's not the right age. I just I really like the three of them. They've done a lot for me. Um, I've grown a lot from them and they're they're like family. <laughs> I really appreciate them. Um, and since I've never told them, here I am telling them. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been really cool to spend a lot of time with them. I like them. <laughs> Dave sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that one came out of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, cut. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rachel, think we're gonna make it? Wow, yeah. what did I just say? I think we're gonna make it. Not make it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> One-handed. Look, no-handed. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's nice. <laughs> What
we think? I think that was fun. We should do it <laughs> 10 more times over again. <laughs> you can see more of my work um, on Instagram. It's at babe, <laughs> babe two underscores. <laughs> it's, <laughs> um, it's at Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Because I'm a very professional photographer. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can also find me on Facebook. It's under Rachel Baker. Rachel spelled kind of funny because my parents are weirdos. So it's R-A-C-H-E-A-L and then Baker. And I have a website, but I don't know how to explain that on here. So <laughs> I'll link to it in the description. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Jamie will send you a link in the description on how to see more of my work on my website that doesn't quite exist, but it kind of does. <laughs> it will by the time we put out this video. Yep. <laughs>